All right, we got the 921 Elite loaded down, ready to head to Florida tomorrow. Super excited to be competing out of the Phoenix 921 Elite this year. Thought we'd throw together a little video, kind of how we got the boat rigged this year, and let you let everyone see see the boat. Uh, we went with a kind of a flat gray this year, with a black silver stripe and a royal blue pinstripe. The colors, Phoenix knocked it out of the park on those colors. They just they just flow really well, look good. Went with the thoroughbred wheels this year with the with the blue inserts. Went with the dual brake system on there. So both axles has got brakes on there. We're gonna be traveling all over the place this year. So dual brakes with the shocks on the trailer. Hopefully that'll help help things out. Went back with the gate over, uh, the uh, gator hide, paint over gator hide trailer this year. The black Fulton winch and jack this year. They just they just look so well with that trailer. And then we added the trick step. This is kind of a this is this is new to me this year, but uh, you know, guys has been running for the last couple of years, and it it does make it super easy getting out of the out of the boat. Uh, in and out of the boat so i, I uh, added that this year went with the tried and true mancota old treks this year i've been running this since 2017 and i've had zero issues out of it and it just it performs well so i went back with that um, you can see the 360 transducer and the panoptics transducer here uh live scope transducer whichever one you want to call it um, if you look right here Kind of a lot going on. Um, the last couple of years I've been running the HDS Live. And last year I added the Garmin Live Scope. That is a game changer for sure. But I just saw in certain situations where if I could add the 360 in there, you know, with that, you know, I would have all my bases covered. Um, the Live Scope, I can find specific targets, actually see the fish. Um, but what I found last year while using that was if if I was spot locked on a, on a spot Just say specifically targeting a brush pile or a rock pile or something when the wind would blow and it would shift the boat I would lose my exact exact cast and with the 360 it spins The whole time and I'm able to see whatever I am casting at all the time with the 360 no matter where the wind blows the boat or whatever so the efficiency of making the, the correct cast every time combining all three units together is I think gives me a benefit and the waypoint management on the HDS live 12 is is to me the best um, we'll move back here to the console um, we've got the we're running the Lawrence and the hummingbird uh, there again, waypoint management on the Lorentz and then the Lake Master, you just can't beat it. I'm, I'm actually, uh, I really like the side imaging on the Hummingbird, but I really love the down imaging on the Lorentz. So I'm combining both of the, both uh, brands and I think I got best of uh, both worlds here um, to use this year. Uh, I added the Mercury SmartCraft gauge, water pressure, gas usage, RPMs, all that digital right there in front of me. Uh, so I can keep a check on the, the Mercury. Um, running the Mercury Pro XS. I, I don't foresee me ever changing. Uh, Mercury is, uh, I've been running Mercury. I don't think I've owned, actually owned a boat ever that didn't have a Mercury product motor on it. Um, they've just been, you know, it's just been flawless for me. I've not had an issue out of any of them. This is the third, four stroke, zero issues. Uh, Mercury just stays on top of their game on producing the best product out there and it's about the same way with the TH Marine Atlas hydraulic jack plate you know I, I can't say enough about that I you know I, I've ran that for uh, you know the last seven or eight years uh, this is a 12 inch black one um, no issues you know it, it raises my motor up and down you know I'm sure I'll, I'll wear it out this next week at Okeechobee um, running around the shallow flats down there and there again, an, another company that has been, I, I've been with for, you know, six or seven, eight years. And I, I, I can't explain how useful the power poles are. I, I just, I use them every time I go. So, um, 
and they're you know I don't have any issues out of them that they work flawlessly always has I can count on them been a great company to work with um, running the 23 fury on it I have a 24 that runs well too uh, as a backup prop um, I'll give you a little rundown of the, the inside I put the C deck in it this this year it's a real clean look and it dries out really well really quick where a carpet normally stays wet for several days you have to put fans and stuff on it but the C deck dries out on its own really quick and you know the the layout of the elite is 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 perfect for the fisherman I mean it's easy to get to anything you know the the PHX and the elite series boats comes with the slam latches game changer no more leaving your locks up tripping over them breaking rod tips you know just simple you just reach grab and it pulls up goes back down into place huge storage in the 921 elite huge huge storage you can put more than enough tackle in here and this added slide and tackle system they have it's for guys that like to organize their stuff really well i mean that that right there just makes it so much easier and it is organized better um big rod box here put my life vest and stuff over here in this one and then the day day box you know you can put your whatever you're using that day in there um, and i added the th marine walker bar this year I'm gonna be traveling all over the place uh, having to stay at hotels or, or whatever, you know, the safety of the locker bar with alarm. I also added the TH Marine alarm system to the boat. So hopefully everything, you know, it's a crazy world we live in right now. So things are things are happening. I think Michael Neal just posted uh, yesterday or the day before his truck got broken into. So hopefully that gives me a little bit of security when I'm out on the road uh, and staying hotels and, and stuff. But that's a little quick rundown of the the boat we'll be competing in this year i'm super excited to uh be in a phoenix again and uh, super excited to get the season started next week at okeechobee so stay with us and um, we'll be putting some practice videos together while we're down there and uh, keeping you guys posted on how the week goes 